37-year-old former wrestler and animal rights activist Joni China Laurer says she paid a dog breeder big money for two purebred teacup chihuahuas, but did not receive them. She is suing for $5,000. 43-year-old dog breeder Catherine Nell says she gave China's money to another breeder for the two puppies, and that breeder didn't deliver. All parties have been sworn in, Your Honor. Thank you, Renard. So, China. Yes, ma'am. I have a confession. Huge wrestling fan. Thank you. I'm one of your biggest fans. Watched you through the whole WWF thing. It was my favorite thing to do when I was pregnant. Watched China. My husband was so jealous. So, uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about this picture? This was in one of the primes, no? This, this picture, yes. This was during my WWF days. Uh huh. With the uh, women's title on my waist there. Yeah. That's kind of self explanatory. I think so too. <laughs> Let me see. I think we have some other pictures. That and was the is... intercontinental title. The, no, that was the women's title as well. Great. And my um, some clothing line. Good. Yes. This is very pretty. And those are my little babies. That's my family. Oh, That's and... Honeysuckle, Honey Bunny, and Bambi Roo. They're the joys of my life. The, and how old are they? Bambi is about approximately two now. Honeysuckle's about a year and a half. Perfect. Now, so you bought these dogs from the defendants, I right? I did. Right. Okay. Yes, and I understand your husband's not here. Yes. And that, your husband, he was who you dealt with primarily, correct? Originally, I dealt with Kathy. Mm -hmm. And then this was the first transaction that I uh, ever did it through Bill. Had you known of anybody who had bought a dog from the company before? I did not. However, on the website, mm -hmm. there uh, are reputable names listed. Oh, Ce celebrities. Celebrities. That have bought. Celebrities, you are right. known for celebrities buying your yes. teacup chihuahuas. Right. Mm -hmm. Why did you pick a chihuahua? I was, uh, had just gone out of an extremely abusive relationship. There were a lot of things going on in my career. The people around me at that time, well, as I was starting the healing process, had suggested that I get a puppy. Mm -hmm. So um, I started looking into the smaller breeds, like the Chihuahuas, and I took a lot of, I guess you would say, preparation and searching out the dog because I had heard a lot. You have to be very careful about the breed of the dog because you don't want them interbred and you want to make sure that you know where you're getting your dog. Is from. that true? As a Chihuahua specialist? Yes. You, technically you guys are, right? Right. So just, just you are Jamie, Catherine's yes. daughter, and you also work in the business, right? Yes. yes. Okay, why don't you get up just in case we want to right. talk to you, Jamie. I don't know if, if there might be an issue. And you are Anthony. Anthony. Anthony, and you are China's manager. That's right. Okay. And I also have to tell you guys, via phone, we have uh, an individual, Mr. Bowen, who is an actual Chihuahua breeder, a teacup mm -hmm. Chihuahua breeder. Correct, Mr. Bowen? That's correct. Okay, good. So All I right. just want you to pay attention. If, with your permission, I want him to pay attention to everything that happens. So, China, you were at the stage in your life, and you did a lot of research, and you figured, okay, let me go look into the smaller breed dog, the Chihuahua particularly. Yes. What was it about the Chihuahua that attracted you? They were so cute, yeah, and cute. I knew a couple people that had um, had Chihuahuas, and they were really Did you know you dogs? wanted this teacup special breed? Uh, yeah, I knew immediately. And every Chihuahua that you sell is a pure breed teacup, or not everyone? Not well, it usually all sizes. you can't talk at the same time. So one person at the same time. What we do is we put information under their picture of what size they're going to be, um, if they're long hair, short hair, um, where they come from, and stuff like that. How long have you been in business, Mom? Uh, we've been in business for about ten years. Selling just Chihuahuas? Yes. We work as a co-op, and so we have breeders that we use just like the person that's on the phone. Mm -hmm. And we rely on what they say, and then we pay them the money. When your clients, your customers buy Chihuahuas from you, do they know that there's a third party? Yes. Yes, they do. True or not? Did you know there was a third party? I did not realize there was a third party until this transaction. Okay. So, you bought your second one, and that's the one that you're unsure of whether or not is a, a true teacup Chihuahua, what you paid for. 
Oh. It's not. It's not. No. no it's no, officially it's not. not a teacup. I think officially. Bambi yeah. was around. She's around the 2000 mark as Bambi, well. Bambi, okay. That. And Honeysuckle, once Which I got. Which is our third. Correct. But one of the two that's, that's once here. Once I got Honeysuckle, immediately from a baby, there was a definite difference. I mean, she looked like a hamster compared to, mm -hmm. you know, a chihuahua. So, you come and you want to buy two more. Yes. Okay. Tell me about that transaction. And, and this, I just want to preface this. You had done these deals with Catherine directly. Yes. Was Catherine professional? Very much. No problems with Catherine, the way she conducted business? No. No issues. Okay. Now, let's get to the two other two chihuahuas we wanted to buy. Okay. My friend brought over her computer, and we looked up, and I already knew. I had already made the decision, and mm -hmm. I saw what I named Coconut Calypso. Okay, and by this time you've established a good working relationship with this yes. customer of yours. Yes, but at this time I had my son had diabetes and had to spend about five days in intensive care coming down. And then I found out that I had diabetes and bad knees. So oh, I allowed, and the reason that she spoke to my husband, I was dealing with of course, a lot you of... you got to take care of that. So then your husband also runs the business. Yes, I, I actually let him do this. Okay. Bad mistake. Up next in Christina's court. That's why you were sending us uh, hate emails oh, no, no. and yeah, uh, absolutely. screaming at my husband. I was not screaming. I never spoke to him. He would not return my calls. How much were the dogs? It was a total of thirty-two fifty. For some reason, I thought it was thirty-five because there's an email here from your husband uh, that says thirty-five. So yeah. Because it's two fifty, we gave her a uh, oh the two fifty delivery. Okay, yeah. so it was oh, right. and we gave her a discount. Okay, so then you pay uh, China. You wire over thirty five hundred dollars. You received the money. Yes, we did. When was this? Do you remember what date? April twenty seventh. This is back in April. Okay, so why did your husband not send the the puppies? Well, uh, we have we, living in Arizona. There's only a certain time that you can go ahead and send dogs because of the heat. There's an embargo. And so we were dealing with that, and then... Is that on well, your website? Yes. But this is April. April, May, June, July, August, September, almost October. It's been almost seven months. Yes. There was a what problem happened? with the breeder. What happened? They found out that it was China, and what? they they wouldn't send out the dogs. They wanted more money. Because it was China? Yeah. Why? Just because they thought she was a celebrity, right. she could pay and more and money? she could be paid more money. Uh, did you tell her this? Yeah. Well, actually, I think he did tell her... Uh, about that. Did, did he ever tell you? Never. Multiple other reasons. How many times did you contact him after I, you were trying to be nice? And oh, you're every like... weekend. Now, I understand Mr. Bowen was yeah. one of these, these breeders that was going to provide the, uh, the actual teacups to right. uh, China. Mm -hmm. um, what happened to the dog that he was supposed to give to you so you could sell to China? Well, he kept changing the price. He kept uh, saying that the dog would cost more. So. He tried to increase the price. Is that correct, Mr. Bowen? No, that is not correct. Why is that not correct? Because you have my emails there where Bill Nell contacted me, and his first email, he wanted to cut the price in half because the dogs weren't selling. Did you know that? No, I did not. Yeah. Well, I mean... Uh, that's in your husband's emails well, to him. That's pretty clear. One of the... Um, when she originally got her first two dogs, uh, we were working with two breeders that were... Excellent breeders. So he's not an excellent breeder. No, I wouldn't call him an excellent breeder. Really? Because he he lies to get the dogs. So then, Mr. Bone, you do not breathe in pure teacup. I have bred chihuahuas for 23 years. I had never shipped the dog. Bill Nell told me he would take care of all the shipping arrangements. He made excuse after excuse after excuse. So then, basically, what you're telling is that Catherine's husband also lied. Absolutely. How much time has passed? A two lot weeks, of time. a week, two weeks? It was a lot of time. What's a lot of time? It's been almost seven months. I'm two probably months, about four months. months. I have an idea. Why not return the money? Coming up in Christina's court. I don't care if she's China. I don't care who you are. I'm looking at two individuals. And that individual promised to deliver this product. And this person paid for the product. It's been almost seven months.
In Christina's court, former wrestler China is suing for two teacup chihuahuas she paid for but didn't receive. I understand that you buy stuff in preparation for these dogs. Absolutely. Yeah, like what do you buy? The whole kit and caboodle. Little outfits, matching outfits to go with mm -hmm. the other dog. I mean, just like absolutely. a child. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and that's all, only those things that you bought and told us about the travel bags, the collars, the leashes, the vitamins. Those are things that only the little baby ones can Correct. Use. Okay. Yes. And you spent over $450 on At them. At least. I okay. Have, yeah. Perfect. Now, so when do you come in, Anthony? You've been so patient standing there. Thank you. They seem like nice people. And we all have problems, and I get all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had no idea there were other breeders in the mix. Whether mm -hmm. there's a fine print in the website that states that. There is that a no it. fine print. Well, what. Okay, but go ahead. I said I thought you seemed like nice people. That... That's why you were sending us uh, hate emails oh, no, no. and yeah, that, absolutely. Uh, screaming at my husband. I was not screaming. I never spoke to him. He would not oh, return my calls. Okay. But Catherine. And, and if I may, what I was doing was it, it was all business. There was nothing. So, was... but why did you take over? Okay, because it was affecting her life. Keep in mind, this is a woman who's been taken advantage of her entire life. We're fed up with those type of people. Mm -hmm. So we're going after every one of them. Mm -hmm. From this to the very biggest. Mm -hmm. And not only in that, the land. Your Honor, just also, not only from a, a heart standpoint, because you do get very attached and it's a huge disappointment, which if that's, you know, what's about your little family and your little babies, but also financially taken advantage, of which is what he's talking about. Then when I got further into this and I think about, you know, I, I'm starting to feel like I'm involved in the, the very opposite of what I would ever wish to be involved in. It makes me feel sick So we have some tape of your, your animal. Work. But, uh, this is, What's uh, happening? Federal building in LA. Yes. There's no regulation the as to what the companies put into the pet foods. So dogs and cats are dying mm -hmm. from it. So we're trying to get a bill set to where it, it's mandated what goes in. Mm -hmm. So at least we want to know what we're feeding. And, and nobody's suggesting you're cruel to animals. We're just saying that she felt like she was being taken advantage well, of. She, because the reality of she, it, and, and yes, the she, reality of it, is that seven months have passed by. I don't care if she's China. I don't care who you are. I'm looking at two individuals, an individual who contracted with this individual, and that individual promised to deliver this product, and this person paid for the product. It's been almost seven months. Can I just say something? Yes. I have two males, and I, I would love, my, this is from my dog that died last week, and I will give them both to her because I know that she would do very well with this dog. I don't know if she wants both dogs. That's not what she's asking for. She's not asking for any special treatment. And why haven't you at least returned the money? Well, and if I may, things finish. happened. Like what? Well, things happen all the time. But like what? Well, I had to pay for my son going to uh, to 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 intensive care for five days. I, I have understand. a lot of bills as well, Your I, Honor. I understand. We all have hard times in life. We all do. But like I always say in this courtroom, if we let those excuses be an excuse why we can't fulfill our responsibility, but then what does that say as you as an individual? Yeah. Now, Catherine, you had no idea that it escalated this long? No, I didn't. I thought you I really actually... had no idea. No, I didn't. So much time had passed. No, I thought that it had been resolved. And that he had. Uh... You thought or you didn't want to ask? Well, I thought and I didn't want to ask. Okay. Now, Mr. Boyle, what else do you have to say to us? Now, I've forwarded all of my emails to Anthony. Anthony's a very busy man, I know that. And he knows what transpired between me and Bill. I got the same runaround that Anthony did. Now, let me ask you a question. When do you contact her directly, and how do you know it's her? And why? Bill slipped up one day and told me that Bo, my dog, was going to China. And he forgot about it because in uh, uh, an email after that, he told me that it was going to a woman that didn't have much money, that she could only pay $300 for the dog, and that he would throw in the $250 shipping. Was he trying to reduce the price so he could keep the money? Is that what I, you're I to really, say? I, I think so. I really don't know what, what he was thinking, but All I right. know that he's not telling the truth. Okay, so when, when he contacted you, China, or Anthony, what, what did, directly did he you want? You mean Mr. Bowen? Yes. Bowen contacted me from the website, mm -hmm. got my information, and told me what had happened. And that was the first that we knew there were other breeders in the mix. And then Bill 
the husband sent Bowen an email ripping him, how dare you contact one of my clients? Because now Bill was busted. Mm -hmm. with the whole thing just started unraveling. We all started to kind of put all the pieces together. Gotcha. When Christina's Court returns. I have to be very clear because I think you alluded to the fact that just because she's a celebrity, things would be different. Life is about what you say, what you do, and how you carry yourself. You have to be treated by the measure of your words and your actions. Christina's Court. Former wrestler and animal activist China suing her dog breeder for $5,000. When you uh, know that China is taking legal action against you, do you say, okay, I'll try to pay you the money? No. no. <sighs> so then, China, you're suing back for the cost of the two Chihuahua puppies, right? Yeah. The, the total of 35, because it ended up being 35. You paid the shipping and handling? Yes, so the I 35. Did. Um, that was the total deposited. And you are also suing for the monies that you told us before, what you spent in reliance of getting this, these dogs, products that you can't use because you don't have these Absolutely. babies. Absolutely. And also punitive damages type. That's right. right. Uh, now the problem with punitive damages is that usually punitive damages are giving as a way to punish for malicious or willful behavior on the part of the defendant. I don't know if your husband's actions, your business, because you're representing the business, it's you, if they were willful or malicious. I think they were unprofessional, um, not good business sense, that's clear. A little seedy here and there because it sounded like he wanted to make a little money charging her more and keep a lot more money, but I don't think, quite honestly, it was that sophisticated to be malicious. It sounds malicious to me. With all due respect. Malicious, Lies. no. The sophistication is not there for maliciousness, if I may Do be so blind. you have so to be blind. sophisticated to be malicious? I, I don't think there was an evil intent on his side. Desperation, maybe. He thought he was doing a good job selling these good people, and then when he realized he couldn't yeah. do it, he got desperate. So, but your, your total uh, of what you're, uh, what you're suing for, um, it, we're going to make sure the defendants pay you back the 3500 and your $500 of... Um, of the expenses that you incurred, so that's a total of $4,000 that the defendants are going to pay you back, okay? You better change the business practices. And I have to be very clear, because I think you alluded to the fact that just because she's a celebrity, things would be different. Life is about what you say, what you do, and how you carry yourself. It doesn't matter if you are the best celebrity, the richest guy, it doesn't matter. You have to be treated by the measure of your words and your actions. I understand. Okay? Yes. So, I'm ordering you to pay her $4,000 right out of the $5,000 that she's suing for today, and good luck. All rise. Judge Christina has ruled in favor of the plaintiff and has ordered the defendant to pay her $4,000. It's true. I was a huge fan of China's in her wrestling days. But it sounds like she's been through an awful lot behind the scenes. And it sounds like her manager is about to go after a lot more than just chihuahua breeders for her money. Whoever they are, I hope she pins them. See you in court.